Hello, Brandon here, and today we are going to be playing some LSPDFR. I've played this for a little while now, got, uh, got a mood and feel for it. So basically, it came out a couple days ago, and as far as I can tell, it is pretty interesting. It's a pretty interesting mod, has a lot of potential, it's still in beta public alpha, actually, as you can see down there at the bottom. Um, or is that the script hook? I don't know. But anyways, it is pretty much in early stages. But it has a lot of features. Uh, so basically we're going to pick our person right here. You can pick pretty much anything you want to. But we're going to go ahead and go with the sheriff guy real quick. Just choose some random stuff so we can go ahead and get going here. But yeah, there's a lot to pick from. You can even give him the cool ass hat. Oh, I missed it. Come on. I want that hat. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and play as him. And now we're going to choose our car. So it's basically a lot like LSPDF or LCPFR, sorry. Uh, so let's go ahead and choose our sheriff truck because I like the truck better. Uh, you may be wondering where have I been the last few um, months, weeks? I don't know. But um, a lot of stuff's been going on. My apartment that I was living in was broken into. And my gaming laptop, which was a little over $3,000, was stolen along with um, quite a bit of other stuff. Look at that freaking smart car going a million miles an hour. But anyways, <clears throat> they kicked in my door, um, and that wasn't very good. Luckily, I was not home. Unluckily, I was not home. It's, lucky, it's a lucky and unlucky situation, because if I was there, I would have stopped them, and I'd still have my shit. Uh, but I'm glad I was not there because who knows what could have actually happened. You know, there's just no telling. So I'm glad I, me and Brad were not there. But I'm also very unhappy that I wasn't there to stop them from taking my shit. But luckily, insurance will cover some of the things stolen. Not everything, though, unfortunately. Because I don't have receipts for things I've bought like four to five years ago. Like the camera, my Canon DSLR uh, EOS, something like that camera that I bought about four years ago. I don't have the receipt for that. But we're gonna go ahead and take this call out, Pursuit of Armed Suspects. Sorry if the sound or anything's off. I'll fix it in the next video. This is the first time I've literally played this and recorded. But yeah, that's where I've been for a while. So I had to move everything out of the apartment into storage and now I'm temporarily living in another place until I buy a house. Which will be, it should be like within the next few months. Oh shit, okay, we're gonna go after the car. So this is a, we're responding to <coughs> an, uh, <coughs> shit, excuse me, I have a really bad cough as well from the apartment because there was something in there. But if you hit B, it pulls up a backup menu and you basically get to call out backup units, which is actually pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and call some local units Maybe a couple state patrol, and they definitely bring in two helicopters. Now, if you hit J, which I think is a really cool feature, it actually turns off your siren. Uh, you can pull people over in this as well, which we'll be doing here in a minute. Once we get this chase to an end here. Basically have no need for the helicopter, because I can basically end this here in a minute. Oh, hit the truck. Excuse me, pardon me. Come on, catch back up. I thought I had him there for a moment. They do pick up speed pretty fast. I'm just going to ram them. Who cares? Who cares about police procedure? I'm just going to ram them off the road. Move, bitch. I have the right away. My sirens are on. Okay, we're going to try to pit him. This is a very bad... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pit the truck. Okay. I like how when I was playing single player, I was playing pretty good, but then once I hit the record button, I turned into the worst role player in the world, but whatever. Okay, so the AI cops do actually get out and uh, help you, but as you can see, it didn't do a very good job, so okay, there goes that AI cop, totally uh, totaling his vehicle, and then there's the other AI cop ramming him into a T-bone. Which is always a nice thing for other officers to do to other officers, of course. So let's move our booties. And hopefully <laughs> catch this guy again. So I can show you all the traffic stop. Stops. I do see a lot of potential for this mod and maybe other mod makers like 
ALPR, automatic license plate readers, maybe some speed radar. Uh, there, there are actually even some maps out already. God damn it, I cannot talk and drive. There are already some interesting maps out. There's someone actually made a Vice City map. Well, basically took the Vice City map and imported it into GTA 5. Uh, which, I don't remember the website where I saw that, but it looked pretty interesting. Now, I'm kind of losing this guy. Looks like he's getting on to the on-ramp. Or going towards the on-ramp to the freeway. Hopefully he doesn't get on the freeway. Or maybe, hopefully, he does get on the freeway. That way we can clear some traffic and do some uh, roadblocks. And traffic brakes. Yeah, he's getting on the interstate. Now heading northbound on one, number one. Was that state one or <coughs> whatever? Thanks for the backup. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, no problem. Uh-huh. Thanks. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Asshole. Come on! I'm gonna ram you off the road in a second, dude. I'm not playing games anymore. Damn, he's picking up some speed. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, well, at least the pit was uh, about as 1 out of 10. 10 being the best, of course. Out of the car, asshole! If you tap E, it'll actually, I think, get him out of the car. I, I really doubt it will. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot his tires out. Oh, that got his attention. Hey! Hey, get back here. Oh, gun. Shots fired, shots fired. Situation code four, need a tow truck. Okay, now I'm gonna show you all the pulling over feature. Pursuit of armed suspects, GD desert. No. Okay, so I'm basically going to just pull over someone for any reason, I don't really care why. Go ahead and turn on just my lights. You have signaled the suspect to stop. Wonderful. <laughs> I like how he's stopping. I really like how he's stopping. Sir, just in any moment now you can pull over. You know, just take your time. I think we might have a runner here. We might have a runner. I, I can't, uh, at this point, I'm, I'm unable to tell if he is confused about what my lights mean. Or if he's just not pulling over. Well, that's one way to pull him over, I guess. Would be a way. And also, we need new water barrels. Yeah, this guy's running. We're going to go ahead and call in some backup here. Holy shit, he just hit invisible. Did y'all see that? He just bounced off the... He hit absolutely nothing. And now he's going the wrong, wrong way in traffic. Very smart guy we have here. Very smart guy. He's just endangering everyone out here. We definitely need to get this to a stop, so I'm going to go and call on some air support. Which will probably never come. But, whatever. Because I don't know where the guy went. Last thing I saw was he was going down this way. But he's probably not anymore. I probably lost him. I see a cop going down that road right there, so I think he may be cut back over. We're going to go and cut back over here, and then follow that guy. Because he seems to know where he is going. Oh, there's a helicopter. Okay. Just need to catch back up and run the guy off the road and tackle him and beat him up and taser him 50 times. One thing I'd like to say is there's no taser. There's a taser in GTA 5, but there's no taser in LSPDFR, which is really weird. You think they would have added the taser because it's already in the game, but I guess not. And I can't spawn it in because my trainer does not work anymore. Okay, so I guess the asshole went this way. Um, there's no other callouts other than like pursuits and armed suspects and Grand Theft Auto. There's really not a variety of callouts at the moment, but I do see in the future there being some interesting callouts, I would hope. But this isn't beta or alpha, I forget which one, I didn't really read. Holy shit, that's Barney the Dinosaur. What are you doing up there? This entire time, this entire time, I thought I was following an unmarked police car. But in reality, I've been following a speeder. How did I miss that? Well, uh, you know, I, okay, okay. 
I'm glad he ran away. I'm glad, uh, the asshole's running from me. Uh, can I not get a single person to pull over for me? I think, I think I'm just having a bad day today. No one wants to pull over for me. So I'm gonna ram the bitch. And I missed. And I'm probably gonna do a flip here. No, I landed it. But can I catch back up with him? Oh, I'm sorry, tree. Whatever. Oh, I even ruined it even more. There's no saving it. It's gone forever. Move, bitches! Sir, pull over, please. This is the police pull over. Sir? Sir, pull... Can you... <coughs> pull, uh... Pull over, please. Which one am I going after? Ah! Can someone please pull over so I can show what's going on? Just pull over. The suspect has come to a stop. No, he has not. Now he has. Jumping the gun here. Jumping the gun. Hi, sir. How you do? Nice talk. Thanks. Thanks for stopping. Appreciate it. Wonderful. I'm glad he stopped. Because I... Uh, <laughs> sir, come on. Just pull over. Come on. Don't run from me. I just want to show people the options you get when someone <clears throat> pulls over. Come on. Please. Asshole. You just ran a stop sign. Just ran a stop sign. You know how much big of a ticket that is? You know what, bitch? I'm done with you. I can't get out of the car. I can't. I can't get out. Can't get out. Come on. Come to a stop. Come to a stop. Out of the car. Out of the car. Now. That's what happens. Don't you dare hit me. Well, we will attempt one more time. Maybe it's just something with this area. Maybe we should go try to pull over the train, see if that works. I bet <coughs> it won't, but we shall see. We'll pull over this thing. No way it would run for me. No way would this thing run for me. No way would it run for me. I've signaled him to pull over. And he actually stopped. Thank you. Now, you better not run away from me. Please do not run away from me. I just want to show people the menu. Thank you. Hello. How are you? Hope you're doing wonderful. Good day. So basically, you can issue citations, you can issue warnings, and you can ask them to leave the vehicle. We're going to issue this guy a $200 citation for having a uh, rusty car and not being roadworthy. So, and yes, you can actually get a ticket for not having a roadworthy vehicle, such as this. Thank you, sir. I'll be seeing you in court. And you almost backed into me. So, now you're going to get pulled over again. Now you're going to get pulled over again. Please pull to the right. Play now to the right, not to the left. To the right. Do you need hand signals? I mean, do you not know which way is right and which way is left? Pull the bleeping car over, please. To the right. Okay, thank you. <sighs> Sir, you almost hit my car. Are you not looking at what you're doing? I'm gonna insult you. I need you to get out of your vehicle, please. I need you to place your hands above your head. Hey, place your hands. Don't you get it? I just heard the word gun. Hey, hey, hey! Stay in the vehicle! Shots fired, shots fired. One in custody. The, um, arresting thing actually looks pretty damn interesting. I must say. So now, sir, need you to come with me and get my vehicular device so we can transport you back to the... I don't know why the hell it opens his back door, because he never gets in. in the police car. No. Yeah, in the police car. Now. Okay, so now we're going to take him to the jail, marked by a jail bar symbol. Which would be over here. Excuse me, big boat guy. That boat's a little bit too big for your truck. Don't break down, or you'll get a ticket. Okay, I've never been to this police station before to buck someone. So let's see. It might be right here. No! Where is it? Where is it? Is it right here in the middle of the road, it looks like? 
You know, I don't know. Says it's right. Oh, there we go. Okay, so someone just randomly pops out of nowhere. And gets the... Whoa, that's very aggressive. Okay. I'm glad that's that aggressive. But anyways, that has been LSPDFR. I will definitely be continuing this. Sorry I have been gone a way so long. And there's a hooker. And there's not a hooker. Cleaning up the city. Streets. One hooker at a time. But sorry I've been away for so long. It's just been hectic. And now I'm in a place with horrible internet. But I will be moving into a house of my own very shortly with good internet. And... Yeah, but yeah, I'll, I'll play this more. If you have any questions, comments, please leave comments below. And like the video if you enjoyed it. Also, subscribe if you have not already. And make sure you leave those comments about just anything, really. Davon, even you. I want you to comment too, Davon. Because I know you're watching. You're always watching in secrecy. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later.